Yeah, there's a price to pay for fame, that's for sure. Yes, it's, it's, you know? Yeah, so it's a lot of, to be famous, man, is dangerous. I think that's the reason why famous and dangerous sounds the same. It's real dangerous nowadays to be famous. It's not the same. Fame, these past few years have been really horrible for famous people, man. Maybe the past five, six years, seven years or something. It's been bad for famous people. If you're famous, you really got a big target on you. It's oh, yeah. And then, you know, uh, that that's why we look at the things and we say, like, when, when people, the idol tree, and we say, you know, a lot of, I don't want to be an idol because so many people fall. You see idols fall. You be like, I don't want to be an idol because I don't want to fall. So the only thing you see, all of these famous people is just, they did losing their lives man people are dying to be famous right right no well what one more question before we get off of uh, uh the whole diddy situation a lot of people are wondering about usher about usher living with him when he was a kid did you ever see him and usher around each other yes that's when how, how was that that's when uh usher was on arista and Arista was LaFace. Well, they were, he was on LaFace. And then Diddy did that song, that one song that he did for him, that one single. That was, I believe, before the Bad Boy era. Diddy did that song with Usher. And then if Usher slept, but Diddy slept on Andre Harrell couch. And Diddy also slept on um, Dallas Austin couch when he came down here to Atlanta before he got Dallas Austin and Kim Porter was the one that helped him get with L.A. Reid to fund Bad Boy. So when he came down here from New York, he often would be around Dallas. So um, he slept on couches. If Usher slept on his couch, I hope Usher didn't sleep on his couch and get the same treatment that Diddy may have gotten when he slept on other people's couches because you know how that casting couch is. When somebody asks you to sleep on their couch, what they're trying to do is demasculate you. Like I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make you, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to uh, sun you out. Basically, I wanna. I, if you sleep on, if like, if you sleep on my couch, because if I had to sleep on somebody's couch and I was Usher, I'd be like, wait, why do I need to sleep on your couch? And I got, I'm Usher. I gotta. I can just go to the club and just go throw my hands in the air. A hundred ladies gonna want to take me home. So as soon as I so, got to the point where I had to sleep on somebody's couch, I'd be like, no, take me to the club and drop me off. I'll figure it out. I'll go in the club, get on the mic, be like bad boy for life. I'll get them a free song, buy a couple of girls a couple of drinks or something like that. I'm going home with one of them. I ain't sleeping on nobody's couch. So I I believe that it was when they were, when Yasha was young before he was famous, I, he stayed with Diddy. I don't I don't know about I don't know about sleeping Ooh. on the couch. Yeah, you you know it's a couple of things that uh yeah yeah um yeah yeah I remember that I remember that 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 and I remember that story there and I remember a few a few other stories. But at the same time, Usher is a cool person to me. And no matter what Usher is, Usher has always been Usher. You know, I never, I never expected he dated Tamika Foster and they went through their relationship. Tamika's cool, but Usher is Usher. And you never know what to expect from people. So he has, you know, his Usher type of way. And I, I, I don't never really judge, you know, how, how his ways or how he acts, but we do know the stories. There's been some stories. It's been some. Oh. It's been some stories, but some stories that, if it's true for those who know the stories, then they know it. For those who may not understand or know that truth, ooh, maybe that's just something that is just not meant to be known. You know, it would be very incriminating for these kind of stories to be talked about. Well, there was a situation where the cops came knocking on your door and some women were accusing Puffy of raping them or something. You yeah. Know, what, what all happened with that situation? That story right there, man, is one that I think, I, I think it kind of, 
shows more of what happens when you're famous and and like the females they came over with we came over with with Zip and somebody else they were with they came over with Zip and somebody else and they knocked on the door and I let them in and then I went back upstairs because I'm like I'm not that's day party I ain't got nothing to do with it. that's day girls I ain't gonna be sitting here you know so I went back upstairs it was Puff House it was Puff apartment and um it was like a townhouse three floors. So I was sleeping on the third floor. Sean was on the bedroom on the third floor. Then it was a middle floor. It was two floors. One, two, it was two floors. So I'm downstairs. Well, no, they downstairs. So then they leave. So when they leave, it's probably about three in the morning, four in the morning, they leave. So then I hear another knock on the door. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, yeah, who is it? They was like, it's the police. I said, I opened the door, I said, what's going on? And it was like, yeah, it was two females that are outside saying that they were in here and Puff Daddy raped them. And I said, Puff ain't been here. Like, he ain't been here and I ain't seen him. I ain't seen him nowhere around here. So um, the next morning, it was even in the newspaper. It was in the newspaper. Puff Daddy, two girls accused him of rape. So, but what I learned from then was I was there and Puffy wasn't there, and I knew it. But for them to say that the allegations that he was there, that's what kind of makes me look at a lot of these cases that's going on now, where people are saying, oh, he did this to me, or he did this to me. And when you look at it, like me personally, I'm looking at it, I'm like, you don't see these same allegations coming across, uh, uh, about um, basketball players or football players. It seems like they're targeting just entertainers. So I think there's a big attack on the culture, that they're attacking the culture. So starting off attacking how they're going about doing this, they're attacking a lot of the pioneers, the ones that are the leaders of the culture. And when I saw that case, and I knew that, and then I, I started seeing more people come out saying he did this to them, it kind of like put me in the same um it kind of made me think just like the girls that was at the door saying that he did it and he wasn't there. So you have a lot of that. It just comes with being famous. You can even kiss a girl and she's going to say you raped her. A girl can have sex with you willingly and then turn around and say you raped her. They do this all the time. Sometimes they get emotional. They start, they be like, I don't know why I did this. Or they start feeling embarrassed. That's not like me. I don't know why I did this. I was drunk. I was drinking. And they blaming everything they did off of being drunk or whatever it was or whatever they was on. And then you be like, yo, you know what? You knew what you was doing when it was going on. When we walked up in here, you took your clothes off. I didn't, I didn't. Take them off of you. You took them off and you told me that when I came into the room to let you know and wake you up. And that's just what I did. Right? They'll turn around and say you raped them. Especially once they once they do something like that and they feel like, damn, I can't believe I just gave him my all. And I gave him my all with expecting that he would like me and feel like I'm wifey material and maybe want to have a relationship with me. And after they done gave him his all, they gave him their all, and then they're not winning. So that kind of makes, that hurts females, especially after they done slept with you and they not winning. So you have a lot of them. So you have to be careful about how you sleeping with these females, man. That's why I was all, I kept my stuff in my pants. For real, I ain't going around, I'm keeping mine in my pants. That was my gift. I was like, once you get to see that baby, you seen God. I was like, you ain't gonna see God tonight. Taking him to the crib. <laughs> What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.